The ability to sell someone something, whether it's a product, a service, or an idea, is the fundamental skill at the core of many, many jobs in the business world, especially ones with commission-based pay. When it comes to closing a sale, it's not all about smooth-talking your buyer. It's just as important to be able to listen intentionally, think critically, and to intelligently apply effective sales techniques. By doing these things, not only will your personal sales increase, your businesses will as well. In order to improve your sales, when interacting with a customer, you have to satisfy your customers. Above all else, try to keep your customer happy and satisfied. Humans aren't perfectly logical creatures, if someone likes you, they're more likely to buy from you, regardless of the deal you're offering. Be friendly, charming, and open with your customer. Give them peace of mind. Whatever your customer is looking for, that's what you should try to provide. This applies both to your conduct and to the thing being sold. Not only should you be a customer's friend up to and after the point of the sale, you should do your best to convince the customer that whatever you're selling will give them exactly what they want, that it will solve their problem, save them money in the long run, etc. Listen. It's pretty difficult to satisfy a customer if you don't know what they want. Luckily, most of the time, all you'll have to do to figure this out is to simply listen. This isn't hard. At the beginning of your pitch, ask a customer what you can help with and let the customer describe their problem or desire. Once you know what they want, you'll be able to decide which products, services, etc. best meet their needs. Don't just listen to what a customer says, try to pay attention to how they say it in terms of facial expressions, body language, etc. If, for instance, a customer seems impatient or tense, you'll know that you can probably satisfy them by offering them a quick, easy solution to their problem rather than giving them a lengthy sales pitch for your whole range of products. Give your full attention. When a customer is considering making a purchase, you want to give the impression that you're available to fulfill any needs or answer any questions that may arise. You don't want to give the impression that you're distracted or that you're attending to your customer as an afterthought. Whenever possible, interact with customers on a personal, one-to-one -one basis, returning to your other duties only when the job is done. This being said, try not to be an annoyance to customers. When you've gotten a sale, you can back off somewhat and allow your customer some breathing room. For instance, you might say something like, Great, I think you'll be happy with this purchase. I'll meet you at the register when you're ready. Demonstrate your product or service's value. When it comes to convincing a reluctant customer to make a purchase, flowery, glowing praise for your product or service is only going to get you so far. To really get the customer on your side, show your customer how the thing you're selling will make their life better. Whether it will save them money and time, give them peace of mind, or simply make them feel good, make sure your customer understands exactly how the item you're selling benefits them in real, practical terms. This is a common sales tactic. For instance, car dealers let customers go on test drives and guitar salesmen let customers play on their instruments. Even department stores let customers try clothes on before they buy them. If the thing you're selling is intangible or something you can't let customers touch before buying, think of another way to show customers its value. For instance, if you're selling solar panels, 
you might help customers estimate the savings they'll have on their electricity bill. An old saying goes, sell the benefit, not the product. Focus on what your product or service allows your customer to do, rather than on the product itself. Know your field. Customers like buying from salespeople who seem knowledgeable without being condescending. Be a friendly resource for your customer. Ideally, not only should you know the products or services you're selling like the back of your hand, but also those of your competitors. If you know this information, you'll be able to make comparisons that cast your product or service in the best light possible and your competitors in a less favorable light. You'll also be able to intuitively recommend certain products based on your customer's unique situation. Close. It's relatively easy to get a customer to like a product, but your commission ultimately depend on whether your customers buy your products, which is another matter entirely. Try to get a commitment from customers the same day you first meet them, a customer that leaves the store to think about it might not come back. If a customer is reluctant to make a purchase immediately, try to sweeten the deal offer a minor discount or throw in extra bonuses in exchange for a customer's commitment. Additionally, try to streamline the purchasing process so that it can be completed with a minimum of hassle. Accept multiple methods of payment, offer options for enrolling in an installment plan, and keep paperwork to a minimum. Not only will this make your customers overall experience more positive, but it will also reduce the likelihood that customers will get cold feet before completing the process. Build relationships with your customers. Customers that feel that they've been respected and satisfied by a business are likely to give it a good review to their friends and may even return for future purchases. Building happy, respectful relationships with customers is a great way to give yourself a long-term sales boost. Try to genuinely connect with customers, when all's said and done, even if it can be tempting to think of customers as nothing more than numbers on a balance sheet. Remember that these are real people with real emotions and that nearly all of them appreciate human warmth. After making a major sale, consider sending a quick note or making a phone call to make sure your customer's enjoying his or her purchase. This can give the impression of a friendly, personal relationship. However, don't overdo it, most customers will eventually want to be left alone. That's all for today, thank you very much.